Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nena Trajkovski. I am coming from Zagreb, Croatia. If you ask yourself where it is, let's go to Wikipedia. You will find that the Republic of Croatia is in the heart of Europe. Let's say, it. let me show you the card so you can see here the Europe. You can see here Croatia. I'm from Zagreb, its capital. Maybe you know my country by famous football team, but anyway, I'm not native English speaker. So, in this video vlog series, which I'm going to show you and which I'm going to publish, please forgive me if I will make any mistake because, once again, I am not native English speaker. I am project manager professional, risk manager professional, agile certified practitioner, professional scrum master, and as well Microsoft uh, certified technical spe specialist. And uh, for years and years, I was uh, writing blog, which can be found on this address, ntrykovsky.com. But I am very proud that I am for 10 years now, uh, Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. When I became Microsoft Most Valuable Professional in uh, 2012, uh, I was uh, nominated and awarded as in a field area which was called Project. Now it is renamed and the Project MVPs, be, they belong as I belong to a group which is called MVP for Microsoft Office Apps and Services. Now, enough from, for my introduction, what this vlog is going to be about. It is going to be about Microsoft Project for the web. So I will, I can promise you that I will publish one short video per week and I, in each and every video, I will explain something about Microsoft Project for the web, but not uh, only Microsoft Project for the web, also about uh, uh, Power Apps, which is uh, part of uh, Power Platform, especially about Project Accelerator, which is uh, made on uh, Power Platform, which is very useful uh, uh, tool. I am not going to talk about licensing. I am not going to talk about pricing. I am going to talk how can you use Microsoft Project for the web in the best way to fulfill your project management and demands. Because first of all, I am project manager. Now, you will find a lot of webinars, articles, videos about what Microsoft Project for the web is. I will open it. You can open it uh, uh, via Office. So you just go here. You can log into Office. I'm already uh, logged in. And here you can find on your all apps, you will find a project. You also can go directly to project.microsoft.com, log in, and you will uh, get here. For this first video, I am going to tell you what am I going to uh, explain, and this is what project for the web is not, because you can find a lot of, once again, a lot of very useful articles and uh, and videos what Microsoft Project for the web is. Now, I will first, for this my first introduction video, I will explain what it is not. Microsoft Project for the web is not copied Microsoft Project desktop application. Okay, so here it is. Here is my Microsoft Project 
desktop application and I showed you my uh, uh, blog address uh, in which I uh, explain a lot of things about Microsoft Project uh, Desktop and Microsoft Project for the Web. But Microsoft Project for the Web is not copy-paste Microsoft Project uh, uh, Desktop application. It is not. If you compare those, uh, those two products, so Microsoft Project Professional, okay, here, let's say task one, task two, etc., etc. And if you compare it with Microsoft Project for the web, you will see they are not the same. And most important, you cannot find all functionalities from Microsoft Project Professional or desktop version in Microsoft Project for the Web. Does it mean that Microsoft Project for the Web is useless? No, not at all. Microsoft Project for the Web is brand new. It is almost one year old product, which is mainly focused by engineering team in Microsoft who are responsible for developing Microsoft Project. So you can not and do not Expect in the future that Microsoft Project for uh, 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 Microsoft uh, Project Professional or Desktop version will be developed. That you will find a brand new features because you will not. You can see some, let's say, minor changes, but uh, it is not going to be developed in the future. The future of Microsoft Project is Microsoft Project for the web. It means that each and every uh, uh, month or period, Microsoft, uh, uh, Microsoft publish some new features for the Microsoft Project for the web. And you can find those features here in my address here in Microsoft 365 uh, Roadmap. So you can see that basically currently it is Two features in development, two features are rolling out, and seven features out launched. And I will, in my next video series, I will I will now shut down or close my Microsoft Project Professional. I'm going back to my Microsoft Project for the web, and I will show you everything what I know. Feel free to ask me any question. For this introduction, that will be almost all. Let me just show you what you can expect in my, what you will uh, find out when you first open new project in Microsoft Project for the Web. I will click here, new blank project, and I will land into this page. You will see that my project is not titled and I have certain tabs here, I can filters, I can I, I have members, I have here some uh, uh, columns, some fields which I can add, which I can uh, create by my own, and all of them are going to be covered in my next videos. So for this time, thank you very much. If you will have any question, please don't hesitate to ask me. And uh, next time I will start with creating very simple project using Microsoft Project for the web. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day.